Gabriel Jesus sees World Cup has come to an end. I read that story yesterday night that he had gotten a knee injury in the game of Cameroon that Brazil was beaten by one goal to nil and I was told that they are going to run a scan today and see what exactly is going to see or what exactly he's going to be like in the world cup and obviously the scan results have indicated that he's out of the world cup then the grace period has been given by the likes of fabricio romano and very many others the baptistas coming in from brazil then we are talking gabriel martinelli getting all hails from joko Remember, Gabriel Martinelli was part of that president team that was beaten by Cameroon yesterday. Vincent Abaka giving a lead to a team which goes by names of Cameroon in the nine added minutes. Then, lastly, we are discussing about we are discussing about a player who goes by the names of Marcus Rashford and Bokayo Saka. Gareth Southgate makes makes choice of either Bokayo Saka or Marcus Rashford. Welcome to this channel. Rokan Media Football is the channel. Rokan David is my name. And don't forget to smash the like button, comment and share. And let's have close to 200 likes on this video, guys, to see to it that it really moves places. Don't forget to subscribe. How do you subscribe? Lower right bottom corner. Smash the black button. You see it very well. And after smashing it, hit the notification bell that whenever you get notified every time I upload a video, onto this channel we are on a journey to hit 9,000 subscribers because we hit 8,000 and now we're on the journey to hit 8,000 subscribers onto this channel and obviously it's rokani media football now the first two person that even gave us this story yesterday night goes <coughs> goes by the names of Ge gegalbo you know him very well he is really a very good source coming in from Brazil. He tells us Gabriel Jesus is out of the FIFA World Cup for Brazil with an injury following the scan on his right knee. So he got, he got an injury on his right knee. That is Gabriel Jesus and he's out of the World Cup. Confirmed, no further doubt, Gabriel Jesus is out of the World Cup. Then he continued to let us know that... <coughs> that... Gabriel Jesus was already in pain on the sport in the matches for Arsenal. The recovery period is not long estimated at up to a month, but enough to prevent participation in the rest of the matches of the World Cup. So they are telling us that this injury, Gabriel Jesus had it with Arsenal. He was playing with he was playing the matches of Arsenal and he has been having this knee injury. But you know him being a player who really wants to die for his team. He knows what it means for him not to play for side which goes by the names of Arsenal. And he told the manager, I'm going to play with this injury. So going to the World Cup, I believe Arsenal knew that this player is not going to be used a lot. And maybe he can use the World Cup to see to it that he really finds that knee obviously totally healed. But as you know, he's contact body contact that is really fatal and his physicality he's a skilled player but he has a lot added to his game as far as physicality is concerned that's why he found himself putting a worst putting his knee into a situation of really pulling him out of the world cup he's going to be out for a month long that's what they are really telling us and that is gel gelbo in there for you then see simparisa she is really a correspondent or a reporter of the Gold Brazil website. He told us that Gabriel Jesus has a, has a milder injury than Alec Telles to his knee, to his right knee, but needs at least three weeks out of action. Jesus has has had discomfort in his knee since the last games with Arsenal. So the last game that Arsenal played before the World Cup, they played against Wolverhampton Wanderers and he played 90 minutes but we never saw him really injured in the for you all limping but that shows you that this has been something that has been developing slowly by slowly at the point x he was going to be out of action and that is gabriel jesus but it's really bad for the brazilian national team to lose a player like him reason being you need him on the bench even though you believe richardson starts ahead of him but you need this kind of player on the bench one to put pressure or to pile pressure on Richardson that if you don't play very well someone else is going to come in and play and secondly he gives you a different a different kind of a number nine more than what Richardson gives you because I believe Gabby Jesus is a better number nine than Richardson you get those chances to him obviously he'll score them but 
it depends on what type of game you are playing so he's out for a month that's it then Fabrizio Roman has come out and told us that Gabriel Jesus will miss the rest of the World Cup sources close to the player and Brazil confirm he has pain in his knee and would be able to be back during the competition Gabriel is expected to return in January with Arsenal so I believe that Arsenal might be one of the teams that are really benefiting this because he is going to get a rest that he wouldn't have gotten if at all he was not injured and that sounds like news to Arsenal because Arsenal are really going to be playing on the 27th on the 27th of December Arsenal is going to be playing a team which goes sorry the 26th they're going to be playing West Ham 31st December they're going to be playing they're going to be playing Brighton so on the third they might welcome him back as they play Newcastle so can Arsenal play can Arsenal beat Brighton can Arsenal beat Brighton and West Ham without a Gabriel Jesus that's the big question and obviously that welcomes in the man who goes by the names of Edin Ketia to come in through and really get the job done but positives for Arsenal the player is going to rest secondly this injury was with him and they never knew when it was really going to go on and really become bad to this level that he cannot even kick a ball so good enough he has gotten this when he's in the world cup and obviously he's going to be that side and obviously resting to see if that really gets him set to the levels of fitness that he deserves to be secondly it's saying it changes the the scope of transfer for arsenal as i told you yesterday night are Arsenal going to go out and really sign in another center forward because Gabriel Jesus is not an injury prone player but when he gets injured what is Arsenal going to do can Arsenal win games without him can they win games without him is this going to go on and really escalate or really speed up the process of Arsenal signing in Mikhailo Modric or are Arsenal going for Cody Gapko are Arsenal going to go in for Joe Felix because it looks like it's a tricky situation that every party involved in this in this injury blow is concerned Brazil Arsenal and Gabriel Jesus when you look at Brazil when Richardson also gets an injury who are they going to read the line is it Neymar I think they can use Neymar because even Neymar is also limping. So it's not good news to a team which goes by the names of Arsenal as far as the stories are concerned of a player who goes by the names of Gabriel Jesus. Then we are having Juninho Paulista. is telling us that team the coordinator in contact with the representatives at Arsenal to see. The Brazilian team coordinator is in contact with the representatives at Arsenal to see whether Gabriel Jesus should remain with the squad in Doha for continuity of treatment or if he returned to Arsenal in there for you. That's what has been brought to us by Isabella Costa. And obviously, Juninho Paulista is the Brazilian team coordinator. He's now in contact with the likes of Edu to make the right decision or best decision for the player of Arsenal, that is Gabriel Jesus, whether he's going to go out and and fly back to to London Conley to see to it that we receive treatment from that side or he stays with the Brazilian national team in Doha Qatar but I believe they are going to let him be with the Brazilian national team because I, I believe it's, it does not require it does not require a surgery because there is no way you can undergo any surgery and then return in a month's time that's out so i believe it's all going to be maintenance and he's going to be given what we call is it a kneecap to wear it and obviously find his knee healed and obviously return to side which goes by names of arsenal but it is really so much affecting the side of arsenal and their transfer plan has to change reason being now gabriel just assured them that they can spend a month without him can they rely on only adding katia remember if Gabriel, if Gabriel Jesus is away for like a month, they are relying on only one striker. Now, with the number of games that are really going to be piled up <laughs> next year, do you think, do you think Gabriel Martinelli, not Gabriel Martinelli, Edin Ketia, can come in and really give you consistency in three games per week? Rem remember, Arsenal will be playing in Europe and they'll be playing in the Premier League. That is the FA Cup 
and good enough, they they're out of the Carabao Cup. But there are very many games that Arsenal has to go on and play. Remember, there are four fixtures. Sorry, there are, there are some two fixtures that Arsenal has to go on and play. Arsenal never played against Everton and Man City. So those fixtures need to be refixed. And we got to know that the game of Man City has been refixed. It's going to be played, I think, on a Wednesday, certain Wednesday in January. That's when the game was going to be played against Man City, a game that they would have played in in November 20th because they had to refix the fixture of Ajax versus Arsenal in the UEFA Europa League. So it shows you that it's not all rosy for Arsenal and this is the main man for Arsenal. And this is something that we've always been waiting for. Can Arsenal go on and win games without Gabriel Jesus? Because in January, they can fidget out and find out a strike. As I told you that that Pedro guy that came in for Gabriel Jesus to lead the line for a team which goes by the names of Brazil was really great. But they cannot go out and bring in a center forward. Meaning that for the game of West Ham, and the other game of Brighton, they have to go out and play those games without Gabriel Jesus. Can they win those two games? Because they might be table changers. West Ham is not an easy side. Brighton, you've seen it beat teams like Liverpool. They do with Liverpool. Um, they, they never do it. I think they do with Liverpool 3-3. They went away at Man City and that game ended 3-2. Was it 3-1, 3-2? You've seen them give her time to Manchester United. And obviously, Dezabi, the new manager, looks like he's so much in the know of the Premier League. So, they are not two easy games. They are not two easy games. And on the 3rd of June, on the 3rd of January, they are playing in Newcastle. Those three games are going, to, are going to determine the season of Arsenal. They are going to determine it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And with Arsenal not having their best player, on the field of play oh it's really going to look alarming because a month from now obviously that means we'll return on the game of newcastle that is gabriel jesus so let's wait and see what's going to happen from that side now the other story is coming in from from the former liverpool and chelsea player known as joko joko has really come out and hailed gabriel martinelli gabriel martinelli played 90 minutes yesterday to me he was the best player of brazil on the field of play that is gabriel martinelli gabriel martinelli has really come out and get hailed by a player who goes by the, the ex-player who goes by names of joy Cole. he said i absolutely love him i think we are going to see him for many many world cups for brazil the main thing for me is i love his personality he won't be overwaved he won't be nervous he will go out play and play that is a player in the names of gabriel martinelli so to me martinelli is a very brilliant player for told you saw him yesterday you saw his highs we never saw any law of gabriel martinelli he was just taking this ball to the opponents game in game out and he couldn't stop you get i believe he has established himself at arsenal he's making his first establishment at the brazil national team though he's not yet at the level of vinicius junior but i believe time is going to come when it's really going to be hard for the manager to pick on who to start because gabriel martinelli is doing it at a high level and the only problem is arsenal not the champions league but i'm 100 percent sure arsenal is going to be in the champions league next season and the reason as to why Vinicius Jr. is being held a lot is because he's doing these things at the best level or the highest level of the game of football. That is the Champions League. Remember, he even scored the winner that won that won Real Madrid the Champions League in, I think they were in Paris and Liverpool was beaten. So we want to see Gabriel Martinelli coming up and do that. And obviously come up and do that. And when he does that at the level of the Champions League, sits down players, puts in goals and assists, I believe it's really going to be very hard for people to come out and really make it make it an easy decision that Vinicius Jr. is way miles better than Martinelli because I believe there is a player in Martinelli and they are going to be having a long, 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 long run of discussion and argument on who is better and on who is going to start. But now the World Cup, obviously Vinicius Jr. starts ahead of Martinelli, but I believe the next games of brazil like the next world cup and very many other copa america i believe it's really going to be so much so much tight for tite the coach of brazil to come out and really make a decision on who to start and where 
to play him or her. So right now, it's Gabriel Martinelli playing 90 minutes for a team which goes by the names of a team which goes by the names of Brazil. And obviously, Joey Cole just loves him, and I also love him too. However much I don't support Arsenal, I love the player. Now, there is a very huge discussion after the performance that Marcus Rashford put out at the Game of Wales. Discussions have been held on who should start and who shouldn't start for the red sorry for the three lions in the world cup because marcus rashford thrived a lot playing as a right attacking midfielder and that's where he scored his second goal that was the beauty now we are having sammy mockbell he's a chief football reporter of the daily mail he's telling us that gary southgate is ready to select marcus rashford and bokayo saka as penalty takers should england need a shootout in the match against senegal on sunday remember england is playing against senegal on sunday that is tomorrow and obviously they're really having a very a very tight game senegal is not an easy one but remember marcus rashford and bokayo saka missed out on penalties when they were brought on to take penalties in the finale against Italy. And Sancho, Rashford, and Bokayo Saka missed those penalties. And obviously, it didn't work out like a charm for Gary Southgate, but he's ready to come out and really continue doing the same thing. He's ready to go out and really do the same thing and bring them on to take penalties because where we are going on it's a game of knockout if you play 90 minutes extra time when the game is level obviously penalties will decide and you never know what happens in a knockout stage because you've seen shocks of you've you've seen shocks coming up in the group stages like yesterday brazil was beaten by one goal to nil by a team which goes by names of Cameroon and if at all if at all uh, and if at all Serbia drew or Serbia had beaten had beaten Switzerland then Cameroon would have found it this itself through to the round of 16. Now yesterday again you saw the drama as Ghana was being beaten by Uruguay 2-0 in the first half. Uruguay was really ready knowing that everything is going to be done and they're going to go through to the round of 16. Guess what? In the late dying minutes of the game, South Korea made it to one and they beat Portugal and they neglected or knocked out Uruguay and South Korea went in as runners up in the group of Portugal, that is group G. So you've seen very many shocks coming up in and there of the league. Tunisia beating France, you know that very well. So everything is going on and planned and if we've been seeing shocks in the group stages why not expect shocks in what we call the knockout stage but the manager of england is ready to take on a player who goes by the names of rashford and bokayo saka to take penalties thank you guys for watching in through rock and david is my name what are your thoughts on gabriel jesus out of the world cup the other story is all about Martinelli being hailed and obviously the other player in the names of Bukayo Saka and Marcus Rashford to take penalties Would you again allow them to take penalties if I told you are the one or you are in charge of the English national team? Thank you very much for watching in May the mighty Lord bless you abundantly. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later my mate